Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and this video is about disconnection hurts. So, in this video I'm going to talk about the importance of being connected to your partner. I'm going to start by sharing a few points about how understanding this is critical to having successful relationships, and then I'm going to get into two emails. Um, human beings form deep emotional bonds. Now, these start in our infancy, and it's during this time that we form attachment styles. Now, our attachment styles are our introductions to the world. In other words, this is based on how often our caregivers pick us up, hold us, give us love and attention, and on a consistent basis when we need them to. Um, our emotional bonds to others are a major source of safety. And when we feel disconnected, it sends us into an emotional meltdown. Now, this starts when you're just a baby. You can imagine, like, you've seen babies when they start crying and <coughs> No one comes to pick them up or hold them. And what happens? The baby starts screaming more and more and louder and starts, you know, falling over and screaming. And this is because without somebody to come take care of us, we die. And it's, an, a, it's a life or death situation for a baby. A baby can't take care of itself. And we, we need our caregivers to take care of us and when we feel disconnected from our partner it's kind of the same thing it's like a reflection of what happens to a child right we get anxiety and the longer like when we feel disconnected we get anxiety and the longer we feel that way the more we're in pain and then we start to see our own partner as a threat, even if we're unaware of it. So I've got two emails that I'm going to go through. One is from a guy and one is from a woman. And I'm doing this because I'm going to show both sides of the situation. Um, now, I want you ladies to know that my work, it applies to you just the same as it does for guys. And I'm, in this situation, I have a guy and a girl, but it's interchangeable. In other words, when you'll see that the first email is about somebody who is causing their partner to feel disconnected and then the second email is from somebody who is feeling disconnected from their partner. I want you to be able to see both sides of it and that's why I did this today. So the first email is from Lewis. He writes, hey coach, I love your channel. You have really opened up my eyes to relationships. My girlfriend broke up with me about two weeks ago. Yes, I am ill with diarrhea. That's a callback to a joke that I made in the pain of breakups video. Uh, and he said, My girlfriend would get frustrated with me all the time. We would argue because she said I didn't listen to her. She said we never did anything fun together. And it didn't make any sense to me. She said... When she was telling me what was wrong all the time, I would say she was wrong about how she was feeling. Never tell somebody that they're wrong about how they're feeling. Come on. And then he says, I don't understand what I did wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, what you were doing was causing her to feel disconnected from you. When she would reach out to you, and try and connect with you if she was feeling you were like you were listening to her and it sounds like what you were doing was what a man's natural instinct is to do you were trying to use logic and reason with her and logic and reason will always make a situation worse um, especially with women um, because that didn't make her feel connected to you, which is what she was trying to accomplish. She was trying to feel connected with you again. You're trying to use logic and reason to be like, well, 
You know, according to my calculations, we went out three times in the past four weeks. And that's not what she needed. What she wanted from you was reassurance in that moment. When she was feeling disconnected, she wanted to feel reassured that you are there for her, that you do matter and connect with you again. So let me go on. He said she would get upset and then start crying. She would say things like, you don't love me. You're not here for me. You don't listen. I don't trust you. Are you dating someone else? See how it's escalating? Um, and then he said, if I left during an argument, she would scream even more. Blow up my phone. I know you're going to see that whore. Who is she? And on and on. I never cheated. I was always faithful. Yeah. Um, so... What happened here is that once she felt anxiety, she lost emotional self-control. When we feel cut off from our partner, we go into a panic. When people have anxiety, they lose their ability to regulate their emotions and they struggle to soothe themselves. Now, on a side note, you know how you guys hear about how women test men? Well, this is really what the test is about. Backing away and measuring the man's anxiety level. Does he freak out? Does he start to chase? Does he lose emotional self-control? That's what girls do early on, especially because they're like, they don't know you, so they're like backing away to see what you do. They're going to test you right away because then they can weed out a lot of guys that aren't strong emotionally. Um, so, she wants to see in the testing, if, if a woman is testing, how's he going to react? Is he going to be confident enough to see if I come back to him or is he going to freak out? It shows that you're able to uh, take care of yourself. That's one that's part of the reason, because you can show, oh, I can take care of myself if I don't need you. And then it shows you're self-sufficient, you're a strong, alpha, dominant guy. You don't need somebody, you want somebody. There's a big difference. Now, getting back to the situation with this girlfriend, um, what's going on here is that you're going to see that the more trauma and neglect somebody had, in their early childhood, the more likely they're going to have issues managing their anxiety and maintaining emotional self-control. Because they weren't taught how to do it. That's part of the reason. They weren't taught how to soothe themselves, how to calm themselves down in a situation. And they just get very irrational. This happens with men and women. It's not just women, guys. So don't think it is. So, um... In order to fix a situation like this, the connection must be restored. And you have to respond on an emotional level by opening up to your partner and being present with them. My suggestion to you, to you Lewis, is to keep watching my videos. Um, I would really recommend doing a coaching session with me so I can really go over a lot of the details with you and help you understand what you're doing here and how to communicate better with your girl. Because even if I give you the basic strategies on what to do to get her back, chances are you'd go right back into the pattern of communicating in a way that uses logic and reason, and that would make her feel connected with you, and then she'd just wind up leaving you for good. So, Um, I have another email, and this is from Alexandra. Now, Alexandra's on the other side of the situation. She's the one that's feeling disconnected from her partner. And let's take a look at this, because this is good to help you guys see what you're doing to somebody when you're not giving them the connection and that, that feeling of safety and that you're there for them. 
So he, or she writes, Hi Craig, thank you for all your wonderful videos. I have already learned so much from you and I just started watching a week ago. She says, I am considering breaking up with my boyfriend and I want to know what you think. Anytime something is bothering me, I feel like he doesn't care. See guys, what's important in that statement is what she said with I feel. She feels like he doesn't care. Now, maybe this guy totally adores this girl, but when you don't know how to connect with her about something and it's upsetting her, she feels like you don't care. Let me go on with this email. Um, she says, I tell him all the time that he puts his friends before me. He wants to go out with them like three or four nights a week. I usually don't mind much, but then when we do spend time together, it's usually watching a game. Well, that sure isn't going to make a woman feel special. Um, now, obviously she says we, um, she's feeling like they never spend time together. And they do. They physically are spending time together maybe three or four nights a week. But when they are together, he's not present there for her. He's not connecting with her. So it's just as painful as being alone. And, you know, if you keep that up, guys, if your girlfriend is telling you stuff like this, she's going to give up hope that it's ever going to get corrected and she'll move on. Um, let's see. She says, I feel very alone and isolated. I'm starting to resent his friends and him too. It hurts. And I get a lot of attention from guys. I'm not a cheater. I'm very faithful. But when I see how much attention guys are trying to give me, it only makes me feel worse about my own boyfriend. Can you blame her? I don't. I mean, there, he goes out with his friends a few nights a week, three or four nights a week. But then when he spends time with her, he doesn't do anything fun or special with her. He makes, you, he makes her watch a game. It's not going to make anybody feel special. Would you feel special if if she went out three or four nights a week and then three or four nights a week that you were together, she made you watch soap operas and not really cared? Like, no, no. that's a, You're going you're gonna to ruin it. You're going to destroy it. And then you're going to wonder why it happened. I feel bad for this girl. I mean, she seems like a, a, a really sweet girl that's trying to make it work. But he's doing things that keep hurting her. And so this is my suggestion to you, Alexandra. Talk to your boyfriend. Tell him that you need him to listen. Tell him about the severity of the situation and how you're feeling about it. Tell him that one or two of those nights a week that you want to spend cooking dinner together, you know, spending that time together, and that, you know, when you are together at home, just cooking, that you need his undivided attention and affection. Um, also, I suggest that one night a week, or you tell him that one night a week, you want to do something fun with him, and, you know, you want to see that he's making an effort to take you someplace to do something fun, because, listen guys, if he doesn't, Somebody else is gonna. And how can you blame her? Why should she spend her life with somebody that isn't gonna make her feel good or make her feel special? Um, now, I think that if he does some changes here and, and makes a real effort to spend time with her, she's gonna feel good about their relationship. She's gonna feel connected with him again. And I don't really think she's gonna care that much about him going out those few days a week with her friends because that really wasn't her big complaint here. The big complaint is when they're together, they're not doing anything together. He's just watching a game with her. So, guys, the pain of disconnection will cause you to lose your partner. That's the truth. That's the reality of the situation. If you want to get my help personally, 
go to my website, AskCraig.net, and sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of great content coming out, and I definitely don't want you guys to miss out. And I am Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.